sale 1969 Impala SS 427. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 69 Impala Super Sport 427. Finished in factory correct Le Mans blue with black interior, bucket seats, and console. 427 390 horsepower number matching. Turbo 400 trans, 12 bolt rear, power steering, and power front disc brakes. As always, go around and tell you everything I do know about it, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, and as always, we'll uh, start here in the front and again going around and put on anything that I do see. Um, the paint on this car is gorgeous. It, it, you know, I got this really nice 71 Trans Am right now, ironically also in blue. And this this is pretty dang close to it. Uh, it's got the Meekum sticker on there. It sold there in 2012 and it went to a private collection. And that is where it's been since. And uh, it, on the little note that me can put, they put down flawless paint and body. And then, you know, they're pretty dang close to it uh, 10 years later. Um, just get down here and show you a little bit of this. Uh, chrome in the front. I would say it's very nice condition. With a little bumperettes with the plastic on it. Always a good look. Um, for whatever reason, you know, top wise, it's got a little bit of this. In some of those sections but the parts that you do see are super nice uh, as well as you know grill bezel stuff like that um, uh, lower balance is painted just like the rest of the car I might as well just go ahead and pop the hood for you so give me one second it's, it's a nice box of a day here today so I want to try and do this as quick as I can uh, and be, still be thorough 427 390 horsepower number matching VIN stamp on the block and I have a picture of that that will be available uh, and, and I love how they painted the firewall that quality is just like the exterior factory exhaust manifolds on it intake looks to be correct it's got a holly carb on there as well you see the power steering and the power brakes and the brake booster I mean, my hands are freezing now power oof, power brakes and master cylinder for the power front disc brakes and uh, super super you know factory correct looking all this painted super nice with like proper decals stuff like that uh hood insulation as well with blue paint underneath that's just as nice as the outside of the car uh trim tag is in place with the proper coats for uh, le mans blue which is 71 and 812 which is black bucket seats and console and um give me one second here i just noticing i left something inside up where I left off. I just wanted to grab this from uh, Meekum in 2012. They do literally say flawless paint body and chrome. You'll see as I go around that the paint is superb on the car. Um, red line radials, which they do mention. I did, however, forget that it was one owner since 1975, which is true. It's on the title. Um, and then that was 75 until 2012 when it went to the private collection. See that all the way down there. And the fitment all the way around is super, super nice. And uh, according to this, one of 2,254 produced, so I assume that's an SS 427 390 car. Um, and then pretty much, I just, just a little documentation that's included. I'm just gonna throw it in there for the meantime. Way it should be no cracks in the glass trim down there even nice window trim all the way around very nice i know what you're wondering this is a different spot than where i took my photos of the car well it's got a little bit of shade and it's the next day because it started snowing and i didn't want the car in the snow one of the few little marks little baby mark on the door and then that came off so that that's nothing there no bubbles on the car um you'll see it as i go back there you would see anything down there there's nothing um really beautiful paint um we'll hop on in the car now Let's stick this to the other side bucket seats console with the horseshoe shifter black carpet black dash you see the little tack up there. I'll get to that in just a couple minutes. Black door panel with a little bit of wood grain on there. And now while I'm highlighting how nice this door jam is here, and you know, quality hem and all that. 
Uh, they did a frame off on it. And they did something really cool. It's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of ideas. They didn't touch the floors. So the floors are all original, rust free, no patches, no repairs, but they did the whole frame. So the whole frame is as shiny as can be and looks super nice, but the floors are all original. And I love that. It was one of those, I was just telling somebody like, like why do you have to go and do that if they didn't need it? Really cool idea. Uh, not something I have seen uh, done before. Wood steering wheel, super sport steering wheel with a little couple cracks in it, probably original to the car, but I love that they left that with it. Um, dash, excellent. The dash pad, all the, the components down there as well. Paint over there, wood grain on the console. It's got this period correct GM tack, which I, I just think is the coolest thing. It doesn't work, but I love that it's there. Um, we did test it to see if you could get it to work and it just doesn't work. Um, but it's, it's better than throwing a Sun Pro or some other crappy thing in here because it's a nice, you know, factory example. Show you that real quick. There we go. It probably has its original console in it. There's a little crack on that. It's not bad. Headliner's mint with the working dome light sail panels also look very nice. I want to push this front seat forward. Back seat, super, super nice. Same with the door panels and all that. Let's, I got the keys. We'll keep going. I just kicked something. What did I kick? I don't know what that was. Anyway. Anyway, again, you see all the fit, perfect fitment down into the corner of the door there. So we'll keep moving on here. And I'm happy it was cloudier when I took my pictures. But I'll, I want, I'm happy the sun came out because you could really see the, the shine of the paint now. And the quality is a little easier to determine. Also, noticing the big boy exhaust. It's got big boy exhaust on it. No bubbles the way you want it to be. Super straight body. Super, super straight. Uh, back bumper is like new condition. While I said the front one has those couple little markings on those top sections, this is excellent all the way around. Lower valence as well. Even the license plate holder. All that. You see the 12 volt. You see the new gas tank. You see the super nice fitment here on the trunk lid. And again, just the condition of the paint as well. I know as I'm going around it, not pointing out too much because I'm not seeing anything. Whew. Gonna pop the trunk open for you quickly. there down there you see the jack back there there's the correct floor mats i just took them out because the carpet was so nice um so again it, i think it's the original trunk mat because it's a little brittle and that black foam underneath is cracking so I, I just try not to lift it as much as i can to preserve it but the quarters are mint see here's one of the little examples i'm talking about but um what you can see from lifting it up it's pretty much just like the outside of the car. Again, ignore the black foam coming up, but that trunk pan is mint, is mint. And I'm always a big fan of leaving original stuff with the cars. So like, I, I just think the trunk pad is cool. At any point, they could have just taken it and tossed it out. Oh, nicely bringing that up. You see that there, the pan is fantastic. And the pan is an example of how the floors underneath look. Well, let me see if I can get a good shot while I'm on this side of the frame for you. Yeah, so you see the frame there, how nice that is. But then you see the nice original floors there. Oof. Oof. Did a very nice job on this car. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't show you. New weather stripping. Same finish. In there, just like the outside of the car. Not skimped out. 
also including the uh, under trunk lid. <laughs> One chip down here. You see that there. see the nice reflection in the paint here of myself. Look at this super nice fitment all the way down there. That rocker as well, mint. Again, sometimes you see paint, the, the quality starts to, to diminish the lower down it goes. This does not, farther down it goes. The cold is starting to get to me. I'm not looking forward to the uh, Chicago winters this year. Throw this on the floor for now. There you go. Will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let us know. 69 Impala Super Sport 427, 390 number matching, power steering, power front disc brakes, bucket seats and console, 12 wall rear, real super sport, factory colors, you can just see, I don't know if I've opened the glove box up, let's find out what we've got in here. Oh, yeah, 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 they put a radio in. Always a good thing, so they didn't chop that up. Always a huge fan of that. Always a huge fan of that. I have a 67 GTO. They did the exact same thing. And of course, they didn't mention it. Uh, the correct rally wheels for the year as well. We are about to fire it up. You can hear it run. She's strong and smooth, and then we'll drive it. Thank you. Yes.